Hi guys, so here we're looking at session 4 and we will start with some energetics. Now, this is all about the triple science chemistry paper that will be on, uh, upcoming. Okay, so let's look at the beginning, okay? We have mc delta t. Mm -hmm. Okay, the heat energy change is equal to the mass times the heat capacity times the temperature. Okay, now, this is the heat energy change for a chemical reaction, okay? A kind reminder that heat capacity, or sometimes known as the specific heat capacity, okay, for water is 4.2, okay, by IGCSE standards, all right? You have to measure temperature change, all right? And you have to look at the mass of water or the solution which is reacting. Now, if after the calculation, you divide this value by moles, okay? Let's say the moles of something burnt, okay? Or the moles of something reacted, you will get the molar enthalpy change. Molar enthalpy change. All right. Now, by using average bond energies, you can calculate the enthalpy change during a simple chemical reaction. All right. Now, for this part of the syllabus, okay, first you have to understand that bond energies, average bond energies are not accurate because it's averaged over a similar compound. So, there will always be some difference between that and the calorimetry experiment, all right? The equation would be bonds broken minus the bonds made will be enthalpy change. Now, remember breaking bonds would be endothermic. Making bonds, however, is exothermic. So hence, you see the negative sign right here. So remember exothermic negative sign. Moving on, all right. So this is table. Give you an example. You know, carbon carbon bonds, carbon fluorine bonds, etc. Okay. Now, next video we're gonna talk about it in the session five. Okay, we're gonna talk about polymers. All right. So stay tuned. Okay. Look for the next video and keep revising. Cheers.